Hello my co-op friends. How are you today? I hope you're doing wonderful. Today we are doing a project um, for the holidays. Um, this one is, you will notice that you have one of these envelopes. Like that. And inside of the envelope you're going to find two things. You're going to find a piece of paper that's white and you're going to find a blue piece that has a tree cut out of it. See that? Now it's pretty simple. There's a few little tricky things that you need to know about, okay? So let's see how I'm gonna make it so that you can see what I wanna show you today. Let's see if you can see me if I go like this. All right, so today you will notice on this um, tree, on this tree, there are, um, Lots of different sizes of each branch. Just make it a little bit higher here. A little bit. And there's a star on top. Okay. Now, it's, you'll notice it's kind of shiny. See how it's shiny like that? On the back side, it has some paper that you can peel off like that. You're just going to peel it right off. You're going to set it aside. See, and now there's that shiny part. Now, the sticky part. That's the part you're going to be putting your work on, okay? All right, so first thing I'm going to do on mine is I'm going to start with the star on top. The star on top, um, I want it to be gold. So I cut a piece of the gold sort of like that. See, I'm going to be, you'll see that in your kit you have some gold too, but you can fold it. You're going to go, go just like that, and then that way when you put it on here, when you put it on, sorry, when you put it on your picture, you can kind of just, and the other thing I want to mention is this picture is, it doesn't matter how it looks on the side that you're working on, okay, because the other side is the side that's going to show what you're doing. This side is just the messy side. It's kind of the messy side. It's the side that you're going to be putting things on. Now, it's not going to stick only with that sticky paper. So that's where you're going to have to add some glue or some tape, okay? So I'm just adding my pieces just like that. I'm just kind of going, oops, actually, no, I'm not. What am I thinking? I'm almost doing it just like that, but I want to make it so that the other side fits as well. So, I'm just, so I cut mine again slightly, and then I, make, I have one little teeny piece just for this little corner that's, uh-oh, as you will see, it's pulling up. That's showing me that I need to use some tape pretty quick. And I have some right here, so that's good news. And I'm just going to use it just really on the edge. I'm going to kind of go like right there. Oops, but I want to make sure that little piece that I'm trying to fill in right in that little corner that that is also got the gold on it because I want that to show through on the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm just going to tape that down, but I'm going to tape that down once I have a couple other pieces in line that I want to add. Let's see, let me just make this at a diagonal a little bit. In case you're wondering what I mean by that, I'm just making it like that, sort of like that. Okay. I'm doing that so it could fit flush against this other one. Now you don't have to do it this way. This is just what I'm doing. Okay. You could do it a different color even. You don't even have to do it gold if you don't want. The good news is you have all the colors of the rainbow today. You do. You have all the colors of the rainbow because it's going to be kind of a rainbow tree. <laughs> now, if you don't want a rainbow tree, that's all right. You must have some other paper that you could use. But I'm, I sent home with you some rainbow paper today because I thought it would be fun to make a rainbow tree. All right. So now I had to hold it very carefully in place so I could tape it. And I'm just taping it right on the edge, like I said before right on the edge. Now, you may not have to add more tape. This is just because it's ribbon, but let me show you how it looks so pretty on it. So this is how it looks on this side, not so pretty. But then on that side, see, it's kind of just all, all just in the spot where I want it. So far, I do want it over just a little bit because there's a line right in the middle, but that's all right. Anyways, um, and I could fill it in later. Now, the other thing I want to do on mine is I want to make it, I don't want to just make a rainbow tree. What I want to do with mine is I want to have some gold going like that and like that. So I'm going to do that now, okay? Excuse me, I'm gonna add some gold. We got some gold here, see? 
and I'm just going to add a few strips, but I'm not sure exactly where to do it yet. I think I'm going to just put it here, and I'm just going to put it on, and I'm going to press it into that spot, and then I'm going to cut it. Okay, and now since it's ribbon, it might pull up again, so I think I might tape it right now before it gives me any trouble later. Sometimes it doesn't want to stick so good. Because it's glitter, it's sort of glittery, so it doesn't want, so try not to get all that glitteriness all over your, your sticky part, okay? All right, so now there's that, and now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to just sort of do it at a diagonal like that. So I am going to cut this because I want it to fit nice and flush. See how I cut it again? I did it sort of like that. But I want it to sit sort of flush right there. I'm going to kind of go like that. And then I think I'm going to do it one more time. Oops. Uh oh, it's not very flush. Shoot. Shuckers. Okay, that's all right. Chantal, that's all right. No problem. Okay, so I'm going like this. Again, I'm adding a little bit of... Ah! Uh oh, I better add more tape. <laughs> Sorry. That sticky paper isn't so sticky. Very sticky. So hopefully yours will be stickier than mine was just now. Now remember, try not to touch that paper or the stickiness, the sticker of the of your picture. The back side of the tree. This is the back side of the tree, just so you know. Okay, so now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna cut it again. Again, it doesn't matter what it looks like on this side, it only matters on the other side what, what it looks like. And it will all depend on how this side looks, okay? Alright. So this is gonna be. This last piece that I'm going to go right about here, and I think I'm going to make it go right there, and just like that. Maybe like that. Okay, so now I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to tape it again, just in those spots. Okay, and that's going to be done. I'm going to be done with my ribbon. Now I'm only going to be adding paper from now on, okay? All right. So the paper, you might want to use a glue stick for instead of tape. Tape sometimes could mess up a picture um, if you have too much tape. Okay, so that's how mine is sort of. I wonder, should you think I should do one right there? No, I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay. So now I am going to get out my colors. We're going to put here, there. So these are my colors, and you will notice they're all different sizes, but they sort of are, um, hopefully they're going to be, hopefully these ones I cut just right. Or hopefully yours is what I, I hope that I really cut just right. Well, and if it's not perfect, I can improvise. Improvise? What does that mean, Chantal? Well, improvise means you'll just kind of do it differently than planned, but you'll make it work somehow. Sort of like that. See how it's not quite lined up exactly, but that's all right. It doesn't have to be lined up because the tree's not perfect. But I am going to trim mine just slightly. And you don't have to do this part. Don't bother with this because yours is probably better than this one was. Because I did spend some time trying to make them just right. Okay. So I think on mine I'm going to start with purple on the bottom. Use whatever one is the biggest one. That's the biggest one. I, mine is the purple. So I'm going to put it right there. Okay. But I know that it's going to pop up pretty soon. Because that stickiness of under the tree isn't that sticky. So I am just going to add some of this glue stick right where the purple is going to be on the end. I even put a little extra on there um, where the, I should have done it on the back of the paper, but that's, I'm just going to do it right here, do, 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 right on the back of it, and I'm going to slide it down. Okay, now it should stick where the plastic, where the um, adhesive is that I just added as well as on the back side of the tree. All right, so the next color, because it's a rainbow. So I'm doing it in backwards rainbow. First, you know, we, we sing the song sometimes about the rainbow and it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. But this time I'm doing it. Purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Does that work? I think that kind of works. All right, should I add some of that glue over here? I probably should. See how it pulls up so easy. I'm going to do that. Da -da -da. And I'm going to do it on this side. I'm going to add a little bit more here. And it doesn't have to be a lot because you're going to be, it'll be holding it together a different way soon. Don't worry. All right, so actually this time I'm going to add a little glue right on the end first, right? 
I already know I'm going to be doing it right above the blue, the next color, so I'm just going to do it right on the ends. I might make it a little bit bigger than it's supposed to be. So purple, blue, green. And then you can push it down and make sure it's sticking to the clear part. And the next one's yellow. So I'm going to add it again. I'm going to add some. This time I'm going to be doing it on top of the ribbon because the ribbon is right there. I'm being a little bit messy about it. Sorry. I hope that's... Hope you won't be messy about it. <laughs> We're gonna go like yellow, push it down right in the middle, and then purple, blue, green, yellow, orange is next. Now you could overlap these a little bit, just make sure that you have enough because kind of cut out just enough for this tree. Maybe a little extra, but not much extra. Uh oh, it got on my on my clear part. I hope it dries clear because that's purple. Oh well, that's all right. I'm gonna do orange next. Here we go. Slide it across, and then red. And you'll notice that I'm getting really close to the star now, so that's good. But you're gonna notice also in your bag that you have extra. You do have some extra. If that's the case, then you have extra, a little bit of extra paper. Not much extra paper, but just in a, a little bit, slightly extra. Uh oh, part of my star came up. <sighs> It's okay. I'm going to fix that problem right now. <laughs> Good. That's fine, actually, because I remember I was saying earlier that there was a line going down my star, so maybe this is the time to fix it anyways. I think I'm going to use a little bit of this glue underneath this ribbon. My tape's not working so good. I thought it was going to be perfect, but it's not. It's not perfect, Chantal. So if yours isn't perfect, then... Sorry if I give you misinformation. Okay. Oops. I think I'm going to encourage you to, to maybe do your star a different way than I just did because mine is a little bit tricky. It's not coming, it's starting to come up a little bit, and I'm afraid yours might come up and then I don't want you to get frustrated about this because it's not worth getting frustrated about of course because it's a wonderful project if it could stick just right it almost is perfect all right I added a little bit more tape on that spot okay so now I'm ready for the last color which is one more and that is going to be purple I'm going to put it right over that star because again this is the back side so it doesn't really matter how it looks and I'm going to go like that in here See that? I, on the instructions, it says to add or to have white glue handy. And it looks like we might not even use white glue today. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue right down the side, all the way down the side uh, or the edge of this whole blue page. I'll go here. And i got to do this part kind of quick because the glue dries. And I have, if you notice, I have that paper right behind it. That white, not the paper that it's going that I'm going to put on it. Ah, uh oh, shoot! I forgot one thing. Yikes! What did I forget? I forgot one more color. What did I do with those extras? Um, because I noticed down at the bottom it doesn't have. Oh no, sorry. It does not have color in that in the bottom of my tree. That's a problem. All right, so I'm adding a bunch of this anyways, and I'm going to quickly find. Oh, here we go. What did I use? I wanted red right there, so it would be in order. Huh. Oh well, Chantal. That's all right. Don't worry. It doesn't have to be red. All right, that's fine. Shoot. Well, kind of does. Well, how about if I use? I know what I'll use. I have something else I will use. This other red. It's kind of a sparkly red. And I'm going to cut it and put it in that spot. It doesn't even matter if it fits just right, as we know, because this is the back side. But I wanted some right there. And I'm going to use the tape to hold it on. And then I might have to re-glue what I just glued, that other part, because it is probably going to be dry by the time I get to it, now that I had to add this one extra part. Now, I also need some for the trunk of the tree as well. But I have to add it. A little bit more under this for this branch here. So I'm taping it down. 
Kind of reminds me of the uh, one of the pumpkin projects that we did. The pumpkin project, remember them, that one where we did, um, where we used tissue paper? By the way, this project would be great with tissue paper too, like greens and stuff, green and pretty colors like that. I think I want a different color for my, um, for my trunk than I planned for. So I think I'm going to cut up some of the paper from this other project that we have. I don't have brown paper next to me, so you could do that too if you want to have a brown trunk. You just cut up some of your bag from your other project. All right, so here I'm going to put brown right there. Okay. All right, that should do it. Now I'm going to go back to where I was about adding that blue. Here we go. And then I actually want to add it also on the back of, actually, maybe I should go sideways so it doesn't go underneath it. I'm going to go like that. I'm just adding glue all around because I'm going to be putting that white paper that came with your kit. I'm going to be putting some of that also um, right on the back of here to help hold it all on and also just to give it a little frame around it. Okay. So I'm kind of, this act, white glue might actually work well for this part. So if you want to use white glue for this, this would be okay. I'm just going to continue using this just in the interest of time. All right, I think it's almost ready. I hope it looks great. Now you could either use this shiny paper that you have if you want, but it won't be bigger than your tree. And I want mine to be a little frame around it. So I'm going to, hopefully I can measure it just right. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn it around and do it this way. If you can line up just the corners, just right, before you lay it down and press on it, Make sure it's right where you want it, okay? Do I have a frame on that side? I do have a frame on that side. Okay, so now I'm going to press it down. Okay, I'm pressing it down. Oh, it's going to be so beautiful. I love it. A rainbow tree. And that purple, you'll notice some of that purple um, blue is squeezed through a little bit in a few spots, but that's all right. You know why? because I am going to let it dry and it'll be perfect. So there it is. There is a rainbow tree. Now if you want to decorate it, you could do that. You can do it on this side. You can glue some things onto it. Maybe some little teeny little pom-poms or something like that. All right, so there we go. Here's our little rainbow Christmas tree. And yeah, I love it. It's great. I hope that you enjoy making that project and I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Happy holidays. You're the best. Mwah. Love you.